What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Kind of Funny Reactions here on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the best hair in the business, Fran Mirabella the Third. What's up? Good morning. Not much. How do you feel that GameSpot.com's Tamar Hussein is giving you a run for the best hair Woo! in the business? Look, Look at this. Look at this hair, baby. Look at these I locks. I mine down, man. I'm gonna have to uh, this, is, this is just pure desperation. It's got far too long now. It's getting dirty. I've just, this is the best I can do. Yeah. I, I feel like if I just get some glasses going here and Tam and I can Let's do be it, like man. brothers in crime. Yeah, get on your gamer yeah. goggles. Go ahead and do it. Get your movement glasses on like I'm wearing. Oh, hold on. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on, hold on. These are Damn, my prescriptions. Now I'm wearing my, my movement glasses. Oh. Cardi, put on your glasses. <laughs> Cardi, put on some glasses. And uh, uh, rounding out the group. <laughs> You know him from IGN.com. It's Simon Cardi. Hello, Simon. I don't know if you do know me, but here I am. Uh, less said about my hair, the better, because it is basically a bird's nest. It's uh, glorious. I mean, you've got a lot going on. Though. You're you're another yeah. one of these I, mean, I haven't yeah. I haven't cut in a year. Ha haircuts. Yeah. But is quantity better than quality? Absolutely. If you're going to yeah. talk to Nick Scarpino? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, over at uh, Square Enix and Chris Dynamics, they've dropped Marvel's Avengers War Table, the deep dive on Hawkeye, which will give us the release date for Hawkeye, and then hopefully the release date for that PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X patch. Uh, so we Or not patch, I guess, full-blown version of the game. Uh, we are watching it for the first time here live. It looks like it's 9 minutes, 16 seconds. Before we get into it, I want to go down quickly. To more, mm -hmm. are you expecting big things? I am expecting big things, yeah. I mean, uh, looking, judging by the the length of this video, maybe not yeah. massive things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I expect, uh, I exp I hope, I'm really excited to see what kind of new character stuff that they do, and I hope they add some meat to the game. I was playing it over the weekend again, and surprisingly, having a fantastic time, just smashing buttons and mind mindlessly like wailing on robots. But yeah, I'm ready for there to be something meaty for us all to kind of bite into and bring us all back together again to play. Hopefully, the content that Fran played. Many many moons ago is now available at some Secret point. Labs. Where the hell is yeah, it? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> it was that cloning lab. France got some sort of insane exclusive. This is like a never before in it's history never moment. Been done for before, man. Uh, Simon, the last time we had a war table was November nineteenth, according to Fran. I didn't fact check that. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you? Are you expecting a lot of good stuff from this? A lot. Um, who knows anymore? <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> I'm I'm expecting Hawkeye to look good, to look fun. I'm interested uh -huh. to see how different. He is from Kate Bishop, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm expecting the new area to look cool, and I'm expecting a tease right at the end, whether it's A, Black Panther and Wakanda, or B, Spider-Man. I'm expecting one of those two <laughs> at the end. That's my dream. Dude, Spider-Man is not coming anytime soon. They cannot Let's do that. It. They have to get well, this game actually back to a point where people aren't mad at it all the time. For in nine minutes and 16 seconds. I'll laugh at you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then Fran, real quick before we hit play, sure. uh, you expecting good things, bad things? What are you thinking? Uh, yeah, one, to segue from what Simon was talking about, didn't we get an Ant-Man teaser at the end of the last war table with like some something sipping on a inside of a cup? We thought, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There was something going on with that. I, I don't know right, if there was right. validity to that. Yeah. But anyway... I, I'm expecting um, good things around Clint, obviously. That's going to be the focus. I honestly, people have been asking me this, and I'm like, the way that Avengers has rolled out from we're super hyped of all these characters coming, a brand new Destiny-like experience. Yeah. Uh, right, the leaks, right? There were the leaks. So go back to September. And then all of a sudden it was like, well, let's slow down here a bit. And, you know, nothing content slowed down and everything. So yeah. I, I'm tempering my expectations for this. Yeah, so that's my not. Yeah, I'm a low key uh, expectations. Uh, I a Hawkeye I expect to look fun. Mainly, I want to know. I want the PlayStation Five version to drop this week. That's my yeah. main ask out of yeah. this. Kevin, my, hit play. Yeah. You can still talk, friend. Don't worry about it. Don't no, that's my it. biggest excitement. It's seeing. Hey, oh, yes, oh, PlayStation Five. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, there we go. Oh. We're in business. Remember, we're gonna talk over this too. So if you want to hear it without it, you should go to Avengers. <laughs> in ten minutes. Though. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah stay minutes. here. Yeah. Give us ten minutes. We'll give you the world. I'm excited to see true next gen. We gotta remember we got a 60 FPS update if you have the next gen systems, yeah. but that's that is far cry from hopefully what we're gonna see here. Yeah, pizza dog. Hey. For those who don't know, Kate, this isn't a spoiler, but it is a cliffhanger at the end that leads into to Clint. Well, pizza dog gets about. Yeah, yeah, he's fast, right? He's using that temporal stuff like uh, yeah. Kate is. What's Nix's? Yeah, I was about to say the thing. They're, 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 a they're a developer. Why'd you okay. smash the reactor cap? Co developer. A lot of people died. Again, here's my 
Yeah. World divided. <laughs> its heroes outlawed. When evil eclipses hope, the only thing left is to fight back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who's voice it. War darkens the horizon. Dude, are we gonna go to, to this timeline? Yeah, it's future yeah. perfect, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to We have pizza dogs, we let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to need pizza that I'm not Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, no, we have cool. a hint of that. So we're going into the future, baby. I like this idea. Well, yeah, yeah, this is, remember, the, in the cave thing, we saw a clink get pulled in. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, of the world. You don't like just traditional generic white kind of vegan? I'm so glad that Pizza Dog is in this. <laughs> Welcome back to Marvel's Avengers War okay. Table Deep Dive. You've reassembled Earth's mightiest heroes and defeated Modok. You've met our first new hero in season one, Kate Bishop, as she Ooh. uncovered an evil conspiracy so fun, involving right? Commander yeah. Nick Fury yeah. and time travel. I'm As really hoping, yeah, like I said, PS5 drops this week and then it's a reason to play it again. All footage in captured on the PlayStation yeah. 5. We're excited oh, to celebrate the launch of Marvel's Avengers <laughs> on Next Generation Systems on March 18th. You'll experience March 18th, enhanced visuals, higher systems. frame rates, okay. and faster load times. Loot, blame. And there's no additional upgrade <laughs> cost off to current birthday. gen players. What, what a treat. <laughs> Today, we'll deep dive into Chapter 2 of Season 1 with Operation Hawkeye Future Imperfect. Clint's story brings us face to face with a possible future where all hope is lost. Arrows will fix that. If everything you saw <laughs> is true, the end of the world is far closer than we'd like. Nixon. In the future, we get attacked by a warrior race game. called the Kree. When will this Kree invasion it take place? Sounds like a cult Clint? a bit, doesn't it? Oh no. Clint! Don't die on yeah. You had your chance. <laughs> you thought we were heroes, but we died as fools. Where's Nick Fury? Some things need to change. Who's the murder hobo? Katie? Clint? Oh, oh. <laughs> whoa. Old man, old man, old man, old man. Fight Hulk. Well, that's Maestro, remember? Oh, yeah. That's what Hulk is, mate. Wow, all gamma beings look the same to you, isn't it? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's Relax. not one of those fun apocalypses. By the way, are those big oh my God. Uh, statue oh, things? Oh, Clint! Kree, right? Uh, yeah, okay. they look like yeah, yeah, they are Kree. The wastelands of our future imperfect story are heavily inspired by the Old Man Hawkeye series especially the Eye for an Eye collection. In the comics, the world's supervillains organized to eliminate all superheroes, and the world collapsed from there. Hawkeye was spared and had to live to watch it all happen, and he ultimately avenges the fallen heroes. In our story, <laughs> Old Man Hawkeye retired, and when the Kree invasion happened, he wasn't a part of the fight. He has tried to make up for it for decades, following Commander Nick Fury's trail through the wastelands in hope that he can make things right. Back in the present, Young Hawkeye has business to deal with in his Brooklyn apartment, in a part of the story inspired by the comic run, My Life as a Weapon. Luckily, yeah. we'll have the help of a few Action. friends, including everyone's favorite dog, Lucky. Our heroes will have to muster all their strength to deal with a new threat, the supreme leader, Maestro. After a devastating right. nuclear war destroys most of Earth, <laughs> the Hulk is driven <laughs> insane by the sheer scale of destruction and loss. Absorbing more and more excess radiation from the nuclear fallout, the maddened Hulk adopts a new name, Maestro, See, is and decides to rebuild the world in his He's own image. <laughs> he takes out every other superhero and villain, finally resting on a throne surrounded by trophies of his defeated That's enemies. Dark. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Yeah. Maestro Hulk first appeared in The Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect No. 1, which released in December 1992. He's a Hulk from an alternate future that possesses Bruce Banner's terrifying yes, intelligence What's going on there? and the Hulk's more ferocious personality traits. You're wrong, Guardians. The Wastelands are a possible future in Hawkeye's future imperfect. 
The I'm alien just stuck warrior calling race of the Maestro. Kree invades Earth yeah, and leaves cool. behind a barren, uninhabitable desert heartbeat. strewn with the wreckage of giant Kree battleships and centuries among the traces of humanity's last stand. The Wastelands are a new region on the War Table, and in addition to Hawkeye Future and Perfect missions, there are villain sectors and Future other missions waste. that will appear alongside the Hawkeye operation and afterwards. Clint's bow yeah, skills yeah, are second time. to none yeah. in the Marvel Universe, and we took inspiration from his Ronin period to create his sword abilities, which makes him a powerful melee and ranged hero. This is the test. We also Will looked to the like comics Kate to draw on yeah. the similarities yeah. and differences between Clint and Kate, how each should move and feel. Yeah, Clint's quick draw reflexes intrinsic defense allows him to sidestep tall, enemy attacks and parry with a fast, staggering bow shot. Fight him in a villain sector. Clint's yeah, Deadeye skill allows him to focus his aim on a single target, increasing damage nice. and reaction with razor arrows. Clint's ranged arsenal is second to none Clint with ten not, yeah. different That's unique arrow types. Yeah. Grapple Arrow lets Clint traverse the environment wow, with ease just... and is also an intrinsic heavy attack, sure, reeling so into enemies before right. slashing them with his sword. His intrinsic attacks include boomerang arrows that seek out targets before returning. Use implosion arrows to cluster enemies together or the draw them away from Kate has that, some of these. Use uh, tripwire cool. shot to stagger weaker enemies and push back larger great. foes with a spread enemies? of projectiles tethered together with energy. Parry enemies they're with rocket arrows, so which attach yeah, to I mean, they're still robots, but yeah, they are different yeah, robots. Different <laughs> robots. Pulsar arrows yeah. attach to surfaces cool. and build up there, energy there, there, before there's some exploding. Old the more they build up, the bigger they the boom. Like Clint's assault heroic yeah. uses Nightstorm arrows. Launch into the air and rain down projectiles, oh, cool. decimating areas of the battlefield. That's really cool. Right. Just so, as yeah, important, good. his the recovery arrow so support heroic unleashes <laughs> nanobots that swarm nearby allies and restore their willpower. Ooh, recovery arrow. That's oh, that's cool. cool. The yeah. Hunter's that's arrow that's ultimate heroic is an AI guided yeah, yeah. projectile yeah, that flips yeah. across the battlefield, piercing targets. That is great. As well. Once that's upgraded, right. Fire two at once, add explosive charges, I mean, yeah. or focus damage on player targeted foes. It looks like he's like real Kate, good at crowd control. Clint comes with loads of outfits and emotes. That's cool. Really cool uh, outfits here. There you go. Looks good. Yeah, I was we gonna say the love our fans so and seeing how you react like, to our game. We couldn't do same, this without the Marvel's Avengers they, community. They will and as always, thank you for telling yeah. us what you think and what you would like to see in the future. Please follow Marvel's Avengers on YouTube for more exciting content. Please upload these updates at the same time. Make sure you visit playavengers.com for all Out of all, out of all the complaints people have about Avengers, friends, it's like, fine. <laughs> we'll do it on YouTube at the same time. We'll see you online and in the game. Spider-Man. Uh, it'll be, I think it'll be oh, great. Oh, lucky, man. man. That's going to be great, man. Dude, he loves pizza. that pizza. <laughs> March 18th, so day and day with the, the next couple of ball no glads fighting. Look at that PlayStation 5 version right at the front there, doing their thing, showing you that it's out there. Wakanda, Wakanda. I'd have to look again. Nope. It's hard with Oh, nothing. Nothing. Ooh, no, 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 and we're no, no teaser at the end, no, really. No, no. I'm be laughing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I told yeah, you so. you wouldn't. The <laughs> nine minutes and 16 seconds pulled me, proved me right. right? I just like to dream. I understand. Yeah, I think no that secret lab yet either. I, I think Avengers has stomped all the dreaming out of me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Keep yeah. in mind, this is content that on the roadmap we were supposed to have been playing in November. Yeah. Uh, what do we think? Yeah, I think he I'm looks really fun. Yeah. I think Hawkeye looks real cool. I'm always up for a bow and arrow character. I, sure. I'm more excited How about, about two. Just, just uh, give me, give me three or four. Like, okay, okay, good. More. Um, I'm more excited about the story stuff. Like I didn't mm -hmm. realize that they were doing uh, the kind of multi timeline thing. Um, oh really? Yeah. Man, Hawkeye. Yeah. Is is? I mean, they teased it, but I didn't realize they were going to go that hard into the I see me. Yeah, yeah, as well yeah. side of it, which is which is cool. Yeah, I'm excited to play it. Um, that game. I feel I still it still feels like they need they they haven't broken into a sprint yet. It still oh, feels not like all. they're jogging, and that's a shame because I really want it to be. I want to you know the early part of this generation to have this game like firing on all cylinders which yeah been great for people like us but we're still not there yet this is good but like i said mm -hmm. like the secret labs isn't there the raids aren't particularly no so, wakanda yeah yeah yeah, yeah, no wakanda, yeah nothing yeah. like I'm, that i think i'm in a similar place like this mini campaign looks really fun but beyond that what's gonna keep me going once we've done that again like i'm hoping this just isn't three missions fight hulk slash maestro uh and then it's done but it will be. Like <laughs> that, 
but I then think... yeah what do we do after that i don't know yeah that's yeah, the, gonna... the biggest problem i think it has right now it's just the why come back and sink more time into it i'm excited for the hawkeye stuff i love this i i had a great time with kate's story i'm excited for hawkeye stuff but again that's one night and then I'm done. And then is it like, it, it's the same thing I know, Fran, we've talked about of cool. Now do I want to grind these characters to 150 when there's no 150 content? There's no raid. There's no secret labs. There's no thing for me to go do, Fran. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's funny that uh, we just went through going back to the vision and, um, yeah. you know, you really need huge sprawling worlds to go through. And thankfully, Division does have a lot of content in it, Division 2. Um, and Avengers needs something like that, like... You know, it just doesn't have enough daily villain sectors. It doesn't have enough places to go to. But that being said, looking at the clean stuff, one, I'm super excited about the whole, like, yeah, old man future stuff. I think we can all agree that's always cool. Yeah. They've added they've added that wasteland section. And if you do remember with Kate, right, we didn't uh, – we went to some new places, but we didn't get a new section to play in, right? So this is, you know, a new place to roam Yeah, we around. didn't get the wastelands like they're talking right. about, yeah. So we'll probably get, you know, a vault and some other stuff. So that'll be a little more content to grind in. But I agree, there's still no, like, there's not enough endgame content. And certainly just going back to, like, the, the most fun I tend to have is in the Daily Villain sectors. And I feel like we need, like, eight of them, not two or three, you know. And so I feel they're way behind there. I think right now my biggest disappointment walking away from this is their cadence. And I know, obviously, ha yeah, this is their second, second villain. But it's, like, the fact of... We haven't had a war table since November 19th, which means then they released Kate in December. Okay. Then at the end of January, they said they were going to do this uh, war table. Okay. We get here. Last week, the PlayStation 5 version of Avengers trophies popped on Exophase, meaning that the game has been uploaded and it's there. It exists. And now I'm waiting another month. I, you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I would have hoped, and I know, again, I'm saying in a perfect world, I'm sure Crystal Dynamics is screaming at me or the, the screen right now being like, world? ah. I'm sure they're screaming at me like I would have done the exact same thing if possible. But like mm. you would have hoped that they do this. And they're like today, starting tomorrow, Thursday, whatever. You can play on your PlayStation 5 and your next gen platform to get ready for Hawkeye dropping on March 18th. I feel like <clears> I got, they got me. It, nice. They yeah, teased me it's for this date. And I was like, all right, cool. That's far enough out that you're not going to tease me with more content. And again, they're teasing out more content. It's like, ah, <laughs> shit. Like I was excited last night. I was like, we finished watching Thor on our rewatch of MCU. Mm. And I was like, Man, I kind of want to play Avengers, and I literally booted up Division instead. I'm like, I will wait this week when we get the PlayStation Five version. And now I was like, ah, oh, man, got to wait another wait month. Wait another for that. month. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, excited for that story stuff. It's just, I need that variety in gameplay. It's what we're all saying. Like, there didn't seem to be any new types of villain there. There's Maestro. Who is it? Just going to be like fighting Abomination again? We don't really know. It, but, yeah. yeah, it does yeah. seem like that. The way they kind of just dropped in. The, a clip of the boss fight gameplay it looks like we'll be repeatedly fighting maestro taskmaster and abomination all over again um which is a shame that's the one of the things that i think this game really suffers from the villains lack of gravitas because they just get recycled over and over again and it's kind of similar with the with the heroes as well like the, by the nature of the game like it needs to be that way but the more you play these games and the more you grind out characters, the the weaker they seem to feel to me. Like I'm playing as mm. Hulk and I'm never I never feel like powerful. I've I'm I'm better than everyone now, even though I should be able to just smash everything. Mm -hmm. Uh and like, still. Yeah. yeah, I feel like a lot of characters need that. They feel good to play, they just don't feel powerful. Um, which is a shame when you're like someone like Kamala and you grow massive and you're like slamming your fist into tiny enemies and they just kind of like, they eat it and it takes a small amount of damage and they carry on with their lives. And, you know, yeah, it's like yeah. there's certain things that need to feel a bit better as well that they're just not speaking to. Yeah, I'm only reflecting. You said the same thing last time, and I, d I remember agreeing to a point, but mm. I also disagreeing in that uh, it's hard with a game like this because you do need to uh, do combos and proc certain damage types. And I yeah. know what you're saying. The sentiment of it, because I love Hulk, probably it is one of my mains. I play Black Widow and Hulk, and Hulk does awesome crowd control, but then we'll go in one and one sometimes with like a big boss, and it doesn't feel super powerful. But um, I personally, I do I just always want to give credit to the game. I think at its core, it is an awesome like fighter they have all these skill trees and combo setups and there's a lot of depth to each character and every time i go back that is what's most fun to me but yeah to, to be clear you, like it, 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 I'm, i don't want to get right back to you fran but yeah. i'm in the same boat of like tonight i am playing avengers like i, I have yeah. the hankering i want to get in there i'm gonna go run some stuff but i don't know if i'm gonna get hooked i'm sorry back to you fran 
Yeah, that was it. I was just like, people often are like, why are you playing Avengers? And I'm like, actually, each character is a lot of fun to build the skill tree up and learn how to play them. I always go from like, dude, I suck as this character. I feel like I'm just button mashing and that's the entry experience. And as soon as you start getting your loop down and you you change your tree up and you start getting refreshing your powers, then you you start to feel that power. And so that part's fun. But as you guys have been saying, like we've played most of this content. So I'm hoping the new Wastelands, maybe new Daily Villain Sector stuff like will be enough to at least let us chew on it for, I don't know, another 20 hours or something would be nice. I, I no really way. don't have my I wish, up. but yeah, no way. Like, yeah, because like, it, it's the whole thing of just like, what are we building to anymore? Like, yeah, now that you, now that we're done, it's just all about, oh, I want to fill out their challenge card. I want to play around their skill tree or I want to get them to level 150. But like, Pushing to 150, I just don't like. Remember, like that first month we had it, and it was all of us playing like crazy. And it was, I remember Golfar being so, hey, we got to get our characters. I want two 150s in two weeks because that's when they're dropping this thing. And we all thought we were getting the raid content, and we didn't get the raid content. So it's just like, I could push more, I could push them all to 150 if I wanted to, but like, what's the point if I'm not actually coming back? It takes so long, too. Yeah. I, I also kind of, uh, I wonder what what are they building towards narratively? Because we're getting these small stories of Kate and 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 Clint and that kind of stuff. But w- where is this going? Like, what's what's the next big story event? Like, we we haven't had a Destiny style major expansion where the story shift is changing. But it, yeah, they usually like at least tease it. And I don't know. Well, I think we're still building stuff. that, right? Because like th- yeah. this is all in line with it. Like again, I do really enjoy the story stuff they're doing. I wish it was coming mm. faster, and uh, that's all I want from it. But like. You figure they're still talking about the Kree, and remember spoilers for the end of Avengers. Like when we beat the big Kree Sentinel, it shot its like you know flare into the air. So yeah. you assume that like whatever Clint sees here, and we're trying to stop, this is going to end with them starting to move that way, which you would assume opens the door to uh, Captain Marvel. I know that you know mm-hmm. where is the Black Panther stuff that they changed the presentation for when Chadwick Boseman died. There's always the talk of this Wakanda raid. There's so much talk about Secret Labs. Like mm-hmm. we know there's content coming and out there. I just don't understand why it's not happening. I think that's one of the one of the most unfortunate parts of like this delayed drip feeding is like they clearly it seems like they're building towards like where a assemb- assembling avengers right now we're bringing in avengers <laughs> and by the time we're done you're going to have this more fleshed out squad of avengers that will take on the next big threat but it just it doesn't have the momentum because of the way the content has been yeah. forced to be pushed apart so i imagine in quick su- succession having like kate show up clint show up uh you know a black panther show up and then peter show up and that would have been like oh they're building towards something we're putting oh, together a team but right now it's like oh I, I, you know, it's I, hopefully when it's all said and done, you'll get a expose from maybe IGN GameSpot or Jason Schreier or somebody out there mm-hmm. of what actually went on. Because I, w- uh, you want to sit there and you, obviously, you know, 2020 didn't go the way any of us wanted it to. So you want to chalk it up to COVID. But the fact that they're so late on all of this stuff is like, wait, but why were you promising September is the game, uh, October's Kate, November is going to be Clint? Like, that like at what point did you know that wasn't going to happen? Let alone was it going to happen even remotely close? Is we're now talking about March for the content that you had said was going to be out in November, and then and again this is what I keep going back to because people come at me all the time with and I'm you know I'm joking around with you Simon but like people come all the time with like oh man I'll be back when Spider Man's back and I'm like well I will see you in 2022 hopefully <laughs> like like yeah like Spider Man is so far out yeah I think it's probably worth saying like the reason why we're so fired up about this is because we, we love genuinely it genuinely love <laughs> I it fucking, yeah, we, I yeah. love this mediocre game I That's, want it to yeah. be great I want to play it every night. <laughs> I, I want to watch it every potential. night. Yeah, I think we all see the massive potential in this, and like the, it is there. It's just not being mm-hmm. like. It feels like they're they're trying to spark a fire, and it's not hitting properly right now. Um, but we just really want it to be there because we've had so much fun playing it, and it yeah. can be good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, like the way things have gone, uh, it seems like they, I don't know, sized down the development team or something like that. You're getting at Greg, like what happened that it's much slower now, but. What I think we got to accept is it's kind of like, yeah, little small comic releases. It is, you know, it's like you get a small edition of a new character, a little new storyline, a little bit more to play, maybe a new boss. Um, I'm, you know, I'm okay with that, but I, I think we're a far cry from our expectation. And, um, and again, we all laugh that I played this like 
end game content, you know, the cloning lab that like has showed up on a production server for like 10 minutes and uh, it's just never been seen or talked out about again. I'm worried why they're not even talking about it. Like they know it's, it's everybody knows about it. It would have been nice if they at least gave a nod and hey, we know you're excited for the future of Avengers. Trust us, there's more coming. Like even let us know. We'll see you in another three months or I mean, give me some tease, but um. This yeah. doesn't give me a lot of hope for... Yeah, I think you're right, Greg. It could be 2022 for some of these characters yeah. if uh, they keep on it. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't see the lab at all. Like, I've had gear for characters for about four months that says is useful in cloning labs. And I was yeah. like, what, what is this gear doing? Like, I'm so <laughs> Why am I holding <laughs> on to this? Exactly. Yeah. Like, I, I could have yeah, could have dismantled this for another piece of gear I won't use. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. next thing they really need to do is give us an updated and a roadmap of when we can expect because right now the waiting is the problem like uh, mm -hmm. every day that you know uh, there isn't something new than something to communicate when the next exciting thing is going to happen i think about deleting the game and that's not a place that you want your audience to be you don't want yeah. them to be yeah. in a position where they're on the verge of being willing to forget your game exists so at least give us some sort of indication or an updated roadmap or some sort of statement saying this is a roadmap would go about. so far you know what i mean yeah. honestly you, we're seeing it right now with what halo and or 343 and then bungie and everything else like mm -hmm. they need to have an honest come to jesus moment where it is just a giant blog post of like listen it's been rough this is why i got so off track here's the updates on these very specific things that you we know the truth that, that us and the people who are on the subreddit know about and care about and here's where we're going and here's what the roadmap looks like and even if that is that hey in this general time frame this is what we're trying to put into this year and you'll see this pushed out there and yada 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 yeah, and I think there's a consumer service in that, right? It's like they're sure they're upgrading a PS5 version, but what about the people that genuinely are like, hey, I think I'm gonna buy this? Like to that point, exactly. Just tell them why you're buying it, what may be coming in the future. Cause literally right now, if you didn't know a lot about the leaks, you would say, Okay, we've got Kate and Clint. <laughs> if you watch it, that'd be it, right? You'd be like, I yeah. guess that's it for the game. Uh there's no tease at the, the potential future that we've got <laughs> more characters coming, a handful, a half dozen, whatever, you know. So we're all flying blind here. The other thing is, like, they're really not making the most of the kind of uh, moment that Marvel is having right now. Like, not at between, all. Between, like, WandaVision and, mm. the, and Falcon and Winter Soldier, like, uh, they don't have Wanda on the roadmap. But, like, use the excitement around this game, around the Marvel Universe to yeah. kind of you know, boy your game a little bit and put it front and center, be vocal about it, tell people about it. even if you're just explaining things about what's going to happen in the future, minor tweaks, yeah. plans, that kind of stuff. Be in the, put yourself in a position where people who are interested in Marvel right now can trip over your game and feel like, oh, I totally. should pay attention to this thing. They're just not doing that. And that's such a shame. Yeah, final point before we switch off and get over to Games Daily and end this uh, reaction video is like, yeah, I remember, you know, talking to people who worked on Marvel Heroes. I loved Marvel Heroes for what it was, which was a Diablo Marvel game, right? But I remember talking to, I think Anthony Gaios, uh, you know, formerly of IGN, then over at Gazillion, now off on another place and talking to him. And he's just like, People, we underestimated how hard it was going to be to make heroes and balance them and make them feel good. And you wonder how much of that's here because there must have been those conversations of trying to time this stuff out. But here we are in talking about a March release for a character that was supposedly supposed to come in November. So there's still a lot to do in Avengers, but yeah, we all, all four of us love the game for what it is and want more and want the best Keep for going. it. And yeah, I do want to go in tonight and grind a little bit of Thor. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, March 18th is when you will get the next Hawkeye DLC future imperfect along with the PlayStation five and Xbox series X slash S versions that are a free upgrade. If you already have it, can't wait to see if the trophies carry over, if they're totally borked, if I have to start from scratch or somehow, I don't know what the hell's going to go on. I imagine I can't wait to see the clusterfuck no, of how getting your save off of your PS4 version into your place. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm sure there won't be a huge fucking problem with any of this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comments what you think of Marvel's Avengers, if you're still playing, if you ever plan to come back, if you plan to pick it up on sale. Of course, keep up with Fran at twitch.tv slash FM3 underscore. Keep up with Simon on IGN.com. Keep up with Tamor on GameSpot.com. Gentlemen, thank you for your time today. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us. And until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.